In this video, we're going to be replacing the water pump on this 2005 Honda Element. To remove our wheel, it's going to be a 19 millimeter socket. I'll take our wheel off now. So we're going to get our serpentine belt tool on our belt tensioner. We're going to loosen the tension on the belt. And remove the belt from the power steering pump. And ideally what you want to do here is take your belt off, keeping upward tension on the belt so it doesn't come off of the other pulleys. All right, so we're gonna have to just spin this inside our SERP tool here and release tension on the serpentine tool. And we can go ahead and remove our serpentine tool while holding our belt up. At this point in the job, we can go ahead and remove our belt. Now sometimes your belt will come out through the bottom, sometimes you can get it out through the top. In this case, we should be able to pull it right out the top. So what we're going to do is remove this crankshaft damper here. There's going to be a tool that's going to fit inside this cutout. All right, so we have that tool. It's going to sit just like that. There's going to be an opening here. You can go ahead and put your 19 millimeter on an impact. And we can take that, that bolt right out of the middle. Now that we have our bolt out, we're going to try and use the back end of this pry tool to see if we can pop our harmonic balancer forward. I'm going to try that on both sides. There we go. All right, let's so just now slide it forward and off. So now we have our harmonic balancer or crankshaft damper pulley. You'll notice that it's keyed in the center, and it also has this metal block here. This is gonna be your lock to keep it in place. So using a quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, and a U-joint, or a swivel joint, we're gonna be able to get into these bolts from the bottom. Take a little patience you'll be able to get onto the bolts through the pulley. There we go. There's our bottom one. We have six bolts to remove. Also, just keep in mind that there may be some fluid, some coolant still in the system, so just be aware you may have some fluid leak. We're gonna continue to work through the pulley to get to our bolts. Now, as we get a little taller, a little higher up here, the fender well closes in a little bit, so we may or may not be able to get on these bolts easily. Okay, there's one bolt. Five more to go. OK, 
Okay, that's two. All right, halfway there. That's five. So we have a pry bar through the pulley and we're just going to put some downward pressure on it and that should pop out your water pump. It should break that seal around that O-ring. You will again have some fluid, some coolant drip out or pour out. We're going to now lower our water pump right out. So now that we have our water pump out, we can see we have a little bit of residue on this surface. And before we put our new water pump on, we're going to need to clean this surface up. So what we have is just a small razor blade. We're just gently going to come across and clean up that surface. So what we're looking to get rid of is all this stuff here, all this residue. And the cleaner you can get this, the better the seal will be. You won't have any leaks. If you don't spend the time to do this, there's a potential of leaking after you've put everything back together, started and run the car, only to find out you have to come back and take it all apart again. So spend the time and clean this up. While you're cleaning this up, do your best to not let the debris here fall into that water passage. Now right along this edge here is where our new gasket is going to sit. But our water pump is actually going to sit on this whole surface here. So we'll just run the blade across the whole surface. Just make sure everything's nice and clean. Okay, once we felt like we've done a good job with the razor blade, we'll come back with some brake clean and a rag, and we'll just wipe down that surface. If everything looks good, then we can move on. Okay, now we're working from underneath the vehicle. The way the light is reflecting, we can see here we have a few spots that are higher than the surface, like this one here. Let's go ahead and clean that up. And over here. Once we're done with that, clean it again with the brake clean. If everything looks good, we'll move on. So our new water pump is here. Our new gasket is right here. We're going to install our new gasket. 
Now for this part, it isn't requiring any gasket maker or RTV. But we will be putting a little bit on here as a peace of mind and security. Some brands, some manufacturers do call for it. This one does not. All right, gaskets in there. Continue along here with our gasket maker. What I'm doing here is just pushing it down into that rubber O-ring on both sides and then we'll come back and clean it out of the water passage on the inside. So now, we'll clean up these blades just using our thumb. Come back around, clean up the inside there. So we're going to take our water pump, we're going to put it up into place. Again, be careful that your gasket's in there and your RTV or your silicone gasket maker is in there. Try not to rub that on anything else. I'll put it into place. And then from the bottom, wherever you can get to easily, Go ahead and thread in one bolt to start. All right, once we have that one bolt started, we're just going to snug it up by hand if you can. It'll hold everything in place. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to work on our lower bolt here down the bottom. So now using an extension and a U-joint with our 10 millimeter. I'm just gonna start threading these in by hand, snugging them up. All right, here we go, there's another one. And we'll just take our time, continue all the way around. So for the top one, we're going to get in there with just our quarter inch and 10 mil socket, just to give that an extra little snug before we come back and tighten it all down for good. Okay, while we're here, just hit this one. Now what I'm trying to do is just get these all as tight as possible by hand and then just give them an extra little turn with the quarter inch to snug them up tight. So we'll come back and torque these down, but it's tough to get to. So we don't want to spend a lot of time trying to line up the torque wrench in here. So the last one is going to be up and over the pulley on the front side of the pump. So from the top, you can see our water pump. You can see the access to these three bolts really easily. You have six bolts in total, so just these three are really easy from here. 
With all your accessories removed, your power steering pump, your belt tensioner, your alternator, with all that stuff out of the way, this is what it looks like from the top side. So you do have that option if you decide to go that way. You can get it done from the bottom like we did. Our water pump bolts are all in and snug down. What we're going to do now is come back and tighten them up. The torque spec on them is 8.7 foot-pounds. So what we're going to do is just come back with our quarter inch and just tighten these up. So I got that one. This one here is tight. Yep. Move up. At a certain angle, your U joint almost becomes useless. This, I think, is the absolute max. Yep. So the U joint's just binding here. This one, we can take the U joint off and just come right in with the quarter inch. Okay. And the same thing on the top. You can come in with just a quarter inch in the ratchet. Okay. Now this top one here and the other side will be a little bit more tricky. You can come in across the top with your ratchet. There we go. All right, that one's tight. And we have one last one, which is going to be through the pulley in the front. Just going to be up in this area here. Okay, so that one is mostly doable with your U-joint on an extension. It is a pretty steep angle but if you turn that pulley backwards and just ride the edge, you should be able to tighten that one up like this. Okay, so we're gonna take our harmonic balancer or our vibration, our crankshaft vibration damper. We're gonna put that on. So it's gonna slide onto this little stub here. And we're just gonna press it backwards. So you're gonna press it back the best you can. Try and press it back even. You're gonna to get to, or you might come to a point where you can't get it to go backwards any further. So we're gonna use a rubber mallet, see if we can get it to slide back. And the piece that we removed earlier I'm going to reuse here. I'm just going to put that right in. There we go. Send that all the way in. Right, so here's our bolt for our harmonic balancer or crankshaft vibration damper. Before you put this in, make sure the back of this washer is clean. And I'm going to put some engine oil on the back side of this washer before we put it in. And we're gonna thread it in by hand. Then we take our bolt, and thread it back in by hand to start so we're not cross-threading. While we're here, it's going in nice and easy. We'll just snug it up by hand. Okay, and we'll come back and we'll torque it down. So we'll come back now with our tool Set that in place. And our torque wrench, 19 millimeter. I'm gonna to torque this down to 36 foot-pounds. ahead and release your tool. Now that our damper is in, tighten down and torque down, we can go ahead and feed our belt in. 
All right, so we're basically just going to feed the majority of our belt straight up into the engine bay. All right, we're going to pull it back down over our damper. Around our AC clutch unit here. All right. Now, don't be surprised if it doesn't stay on there, it's not tight up top. And we're going to go under our water pump here. Now, you're going to have to let go. So it is going to fall down because it's not attached up top. But as long as you are within reason, when we get up top, we can pull it tight and try and keep it in the pulleys the best we can. So we've got upward tension on our belt. And for the most part, it's in the grooves and on the pulleys that it needs to be on. It's a little bit shifted over because now we have to get it onto our power steering pump. But you can see our tensioner is in the way. So we're going to have to move our tensioner. or also known as put tension on our tensioner to relieve pressure on our belt. Hold on. A little bit easier done on this side. So you're going to have to take your belt and get it between the pulley and this tool here. So that way when the tool's backwards, you can put your belt where it needs to go. So, get it on top of this bolt. Get your tool backwards. Get your hands in front of this. Now we have the tensioner loose. We can now put our belt onto the power steering pump. tension from the tool and put tension onto the belt. Give it a couple of rotations. Make sure everything looks good. At this point you might want to go back down underneath. Make sure it looks good on all the other pulleys in the system. If everything looks good, move on. Right, so now we can install our wheel. Sometimes when I'm having an issue centering or getting the wheel on nice and flat, I like to do a top nice and tight. Push in, do a bottom nice and tight. And then rock back and forth till I get those two nice and tight. And that usually helps me get a wheel nice and flat. All right, now we can do the other ones. Come in here with our 19 millimeter. Just snug these up. Now to torque these down, we're going to have to put the vehicle on the ground so the wheel doesn't spin. Now that our vehicle is on the ground, we're going to torque our lug nuts down to 80 foot-pounds. We're going to do it in a crisscross pattern. And then sometimes, if you really feel the need to, you can run around a second time just to make sure.
Now we're back up top at our radiator. What you want to do now is go ahead and fill your radiator. Once you reach the top, what you want to do is cap it off, run your vehicle to operating temperature. Let it cool down, come back out. Once the cap is cooled to the touch, open your radiator and refill to the top. Do that once or twice. Make sure you're completely full in your radiator and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.